second, 2022, ARPA committee meeting. To order, please. I'm going to start with amendments to the agenda. Still being new to this, please jump in at any time. Um, one of the, I'd like to add that I have a question for Laura about the ARPA email, and then I have an announcement to make. I guess, shall I just do both of them now? We, we don't have to step second. Uh, we need to, All right. We need to, do we have anything official to change the agenda? I, I think so. I, you moved, I... I moved, right, I made the motion, you moved, you approved. Moving on. So, I'm going to just address, so Laura, did you, were you able to open the email, ARPA Gmail email that Brandy sent? I did not try to. I kind of don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't know how I to can open do that. it. I can try to do that later. If it's not, so nobody's opened it yet. So that's kind of maybe a good thing. I'm not really sure. Okay. And that's my other question is should I forward it to everybody? Everybody should have access to that email, right? Oh, yeah. So how do we do that? What is it? So Brandy set up an ARPA, general ARPA email that is listed on the bottom of what is going to be the application. Yes. So we all need access to that email. Uh -huh. So I don't know how to share that with you all. Because I'm not, I, 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 I don't, don't need access to the ARPA Gmail. I mean, if, I'm assuming if there's anything important, you would forward it. That, right, it would be brought forward. The purpose of it is so that there's a public record of our discourse. So that if someone were to want to ask us for it, we could produce that. Okay. Is my understanding. So as long as we are tagging that email in with all of our emails, that's oh. we're doing our thing. Okay. So that way that you know all of our correspondence are public records, you know. Okay. And um, so anything we say, someone could say later. I'd like to. See I want to what, see. How, what was the course of? action there sure um, and so so you that's why I switched to Gmail yep. because if someone asks you that then you have to kind of make your way through your personal email to try to gather all that information for the person right. and so if I just have this one Gmail account then it's easy if someone asks and I would not be surprised if the public did want to yep. somebody yep. might have a question about how do we come to our decisions and, sure. mm -hmm, so. okay and that's absolutely public's right to do that. So that's why that, but I don't know if Brandy is forwarding anything else to that because I think she was receiving emails to that site right. from other people. And we're going to have to open it and look. I'll, I, I can, it now? I, sure. No one has access to it? I don't know if I think I do. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't mean to be a dingbat, but I'm really... Uh, I'll look at it. My phone's so small, it's really hard and to And we see. can use this. So, this is Eliza's. I don't know if... Uh, so, new email... Uh, no. I think we could do that right. at a different time. On a different time zone, right but now. let's not forget. We, right, we can no, I have it on my list of things to do, so I'll let you know if I have any success with that. Um, By the end of this week, I should have an answer. My other amendment is that uh, Justin Brown has stepped out of the committee. He's no longer going to be part of the ARPA committee. Um, what we do with that information, I tend to think that we are now a five-person committee instead of a six-person committee. I think that we should probably notify the select board and let them know. Um, but other than that, it's out of our hands. There's no, he's decided to step out, so. Uh, but, but, but. Do you want to be the notifier? Sure. Of the select board? Yep. Extraction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not extraction. I'll come up with a better word. Um, and uh, we have that being said. So today, then we have a full quorum to continue with our meeting for today's agenda. Uh, Dennis may be here late, but he did email me earlier to let me know that he had some uh, business to do today and would not potentially be back in Vermont in time. Okay, 
Those are my amendments. There's nobody here to make public comment. I don't have the meeting, the minutes from last. We have them in here, though. But do we want to wait to approve last minutes, last meeting's minutes? I think we should. Didn't you have amendments? I haven't seen any revisions. I haven't seen any revisions. I don't know what the final is. Right. Yeah. So maybe we'll just hold off on approving those minutes the next meeting, and we'll approve both. Yep. On the next, I don't have the next date in front of me. I could. It's yeah, the first uh, Monday of. I'm sorry, the first Wednesday of the month. So the first Wednesday of March will be March second. We have a. Don't we have a February sixteenth? We have a February sixteenth informational meeting yes. for the public. We may want to meet before that. Do we want to meet next row. week? And just finalize everything. I would say yes. Sure. We're supposed to have information about communications and. So I, I have a report on that. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right. So we're going to meet again then on the uh, the ninth. Yes. It was the next Wednesday. But then we'll also meet next. Because it will be next week. So the ninth at six back here. Uh, are you going to want to meet again the 14th or the 15th, the head of the 16th, or do you think between? Let's see how we're feeling on the 9th. On the 9th, okay. You know, I know it's nice to get all the announcements out at once, yes. but yes, all right. um, we may not feel like we need to. I want to interject that has nothing to do with ARPA meeting, but I believe on the 21st. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Moving on. All right, so we'll wait to do the minutes. All right, so now on the current today's agenda, we're up to the follow-ups. And Laura, you're first up if you would like to. Yeah, what was my first? Uh, the ARPA on informational agenda. meeting okay. date, time, and location. Okay, so the ARPA informational meeting is um, February 16th, uh, Wednesday at 6 o'clock, being held in the gym. Uh, with Barry Elementary School, uh, but also on Zoom. And um, moving down to logistics around technical issues, um, spoke with uh, Michael Gray. The select board has purchased the equipment, speakers, uh, camera, all that. They bought it? They bought it. Is it Probably they'll retroactively put in an yep. application for ARPA funding. Yep. They yep. Um, consulted with Leaf over at um, HCCTV, and he um, gave them a list of what he would recommend to yep. that would suit our needs and would vary. Um, he purchased it and then Leaf is going to consult with the select board and give them training and use of it. That's and then Michael is going to attend our meeting, so either he's going to help us set that up or okay. he's going to teach us how to set it up okay. or Sweet. some okay. such like that. And then my only you know, I think we need to have, and maybe not today, but maybe today. I don't know. There's logistics around just conducting a Zoom meeting with a lot of people. And I think that, you know, one person should probably yes. be responsible for reading the chat and fielding questions, fielding their questions, questions and then relating. presenting them. Um, so we can ask people that, to just put their questions via chat rather than, you know, people speaking out. Keep everyone stays muted, obviously. Um, so I don't know what else might come up logistically. Um, I have never conducted a large Zoom meeting. I don't know how large it's going to be, but um, and the town has a laptop that we can use. So the laptop, it's a town laptop. Okay. Um, what I don't know about is it feels like it, it needs to be projected in some way, and I'm wondering if we have some kind of ability to project. Oh, yeah, but it's not going to be here. No, yeah, right, right. Something yeah, something yeah. like this where Katie and Grace are up on the screen for people to see because yeah. they have presentations like PowerPoints that they're going to do for us. Aren't they coming in person? Right? No, by Zoom. Okay, so you want to somehow put whatever's on the screen projected. That's what I'm, right. Yeah, that's right. what I'm thinking is so that they can share their screen and then you can see what they're Holy crap. whole thing is. So that's another question I'll ask Michael about how we might project that. Um, 
little in, inside information. Yeah. yeah. They ordered a 27-inch uh, monitor. Okay. And they have a projector already, so. Okay. okay. I'm not sure what they'll want to use, but. Okay. That's what they have. All right. So that might be enough to do the trick. Sounds like it is enough to do the trick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quite enough. Um, so that is the logistics and technical issues. So that's exciting. That's been done. Um, the announcement I, that I tried to send to you guys that I sent in pages, unfortunately, that's why it wasn't readable by you guys. Um, is it okay with you, I was not able to print it today, that I read it out loud and you tell me what you think of it? Or do you feel like you need it in your hand? It depends on how long it is. You know, like, but that's true. It's one page. Yeah, I'll send it, please. So resend it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but yeah, it, it, I'm a reader. Not a problem at all. I just want to, okay, so there it is. And just give me the heads up next time, because we I could have resent it. You know what I mean? Just not, not giving anyone a hard time. Just yep. saying that if I send something, I'm not super tech savvy. And if it doesn't go through, just give me the heads up so I can resend it. Right on, right on. Well, I have to be honest, I didn't look at it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so part of one of my questions for, I can't put out the announcement, it feels to me. Maybe I can get around it somehow. There was information that I felt like needed to be in the announcement that we haven't decided on yet, and we kind of need Reddit, it's Reddit to decide on it, it feels like. Um, what was it? And we're, you know, dates of when the application is due, that's one thing that we need to solidify. Um, I thought we were going for like an April 1st kind of. Like so we haven't, I mean, that's definitely a decision that we have to all make and second and all of that. And we didn't, we, there was talk about doing it in two installments. So one deadline would be such and so, right. another deadline would be such and so. Kind because we've got the money already in the account now, then there's a second fund that's, a uh, second installment of that money that's coming. Do you know so when the second fund money is supposed to come? I believe August. Um, this year? This yes. year. Yeah, this August. Yeah. So we, um, having attended the select board meeting the last time, the question of when are you folks getting this application out is dangling out there for, for a big question mark yes, for the yes. public and for the select board. Sure. Uh, do we have one? Uh, not completely. Right, because um, we're still on the, the date and we're still on the... No, the League of Cities and Towns actually asked us to hold up a little bit. Um, we sent the application that we had prepared to so, yeah. and they said, well, you know, with the new rules, there's a couple things that, you know, we're really trying to review. So oh, wow. could you hold off on the application and running this up until we have a better grasp on it? Huh. So we could have the application available after the informational meeting. I have a feeling they'll right. have most of their, they'll have to suffer whatever. Yeah, and it's only two weeks away. And again, their dangle can dangle. I don't want to feel pressure from them because I don't want any of this money to be spent incorrectly. And this is why we're here, is because everybody's trying to push and have this, I want mine, I want mine, that's great. And you'll all probably get yours, but we're not going to feel pressured by these people because they want, 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 want. I don't want to have to pay any of this back. So, Mr. Select Board people, you can all take a deep breath. Yeah, I mean, and and just to like just to say that I don't I don't feel like they were they were just wondering, do you have a date? And right. I felt like I didn't have an answer. Right. So I just wanted to kind of put that to you guys as to where where are we with the date? What what is our answer when people ask? And I think the answer is we're waiting to for the informational meeting because so much has changed with the even since we've started, right. so much has changed, mm -hmm. and, and from just some of the stuff that I've read, it. it some of the stuff that now it seems to be able to be spent on was not what it was able to be spent on at the beginning of this. Yeah, so one of so. the things that Katie said on the phone was that that whole part about the, it can, it can be spent on municipal um, anything. Right, right. Basically, that it doesn't have to be ARPA, uh, it doesn't have to be COVID related COVID now. COVID related now. And you can actually, you know, in her words, basically sign a check over to your town and your town can decide what they want to do. 
people, I think they could have probably decided anyway the select board. Yeah, but the select board couldn't have the, the aspect about the money going to the municipality um, was a percentage before, and it really applied more to larger towns and cities. Mm -hmm. And so that was only one little part of the guidelines. It was you're only allowed to spend a certain percentage of your money on that. And as it is now with the amount that Woodbury is getting, it could be the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's not what the town wants to do, just to hand the money over to the town. I mean, maybe there's other things that need to be done that aren't town related necessarily. Um, but I thought that was interesting, and I think yeah. that that's you know something I want to hear more from our experts about yes. to really understand it. But I thought that that was interesting. From her. Um, so, do you feel that the survey, the application, all of that should wait until we hear from them and get more of this information before we start pushing for public information or applications and such? I think I was hoping maybe the survey was going to be at the meeting. For the people to pick up, dumb. or at town meeting at least, could be at town meeting. It's done. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Ending, you know, what we find out of this ARPA meeting, there right? Might be more to yeah. So maybe we hold on it, like you said, and and wait to actually. So town meeting is not occurring though. People I keep thinking we're having town meeting, and we're not having a town meeting. But we could put it at the at the ballot station where people are going to get there. The February twelfth meeting. It's happening in person. Yeah. And if it can be ready by then. The February 16th? No, February 12th is a special town meeting. That's why I didn't want to, I was going to bring it up, but decided not to, but now here we are. February 12th is a special town meeting being held, and I tried to bring up my front porch forum. You'd have to, it, it's pretty it's long, but it's, it's on front porch forum. It's all worn and everything else, and it's. I'm not on this one. I'm on Cabot still. Shall the town of Woodbury elect its town of officers by Australian ballot pursuant to, so it's basically trying to get town meetings around the signs and beyond the fact of COVID and a pandemic. Getting a lot of the, getting town meeting to be voted on by Australian ballot so that not everything in this town is voted on by the 17% of the people who can actually get there on a Monday afternoon in the middle of the day and spend their whole day. A lot of people can't get to town meeting, so one of the things is maybe trying to change it to a Saturday. Some people are still like, meh, don't want to do that either. So a lot of people are trying to encourage Australian ballot voting so that more people can actually vote on how our money is spent in the town and not just checking off boxes, what is it, 17 to 32? Yep, we'll pay all those guys. Kind of gives more people a chance to vote. For that to happen, it has to, the way the town rules are written, God, I hope I'm explaining this all right. Um, the way the town rules are written is that for that to happen, it still has to happen as a vote from the floor. So as a vote from the floor, you have to actually be in person to this February 12th meeting to actually vote it, to go to Australian ballot. I hope I explained that all right. You did. I think that's just how I understand it, and I think that's how it works. So, on that February 12th meeting, it is in person. It is six feet, mask, whatever, but everybody's meeting, or as many people that can, are meeting on that day. Uh, I don't know where. I'm when? looking at now to see it's, where. It's um, at the school gym. It's a Saturday. Uh, I believe it's 10. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Yep, 10 a.m. Yep, on the 12th. And did, did you'll be there? Did you say I don't? Deuterizing policies, so attending special time. Uh, so I guess I don't know where it is. But did you just say it's in the gym? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I can bring surveys there. So all of that was to bring around the fact that I can bring paper surveys to that meeting, mm -hmm. if we would like it to be. So that would be before the informational meeting. I don't expect everybody who answers the survey to attend the meeting and be right. knowledgeable about the funds and right. what we can do with it. And it is going to be before the informational meeting. So maybe on that Saturday when I go, 
I'll have to make sure to just be like you. Come out on the 16th. You come and listen and come and get learned. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get that announcement that I put together to you guys as soon as possible because I really, I mean, as soon as I can get that out to all of the, you know, to the newspaper, to Front Porch Forum, to all the websites posted around town, the better. So that Absolutely. we can get more folks to come. Ten four. Um, so I will try to get that to you guys. If it doesn't go through, let me know. I'm going to be smarter about it this time. Um, okay. that one of the things that Katie, and, uh, Katie mentioned when I talked to her um, was that she would love if people had questions beforehand. So that was one of the things I put in the announcement is send us questions that we could give to Katie and Grace and then they can include that in their presentation. Okay. So your, you know, your, your answer to your question would be part of the PowerPoint. So right. if we have any questions for them right off the bat, we can start sending them to them and we can be prepared to answer them. And Katie is from uh, VLCT and Grace is from the Central Robot Regional Planning Commission. Um, I guess I wanted to discuss issues around mask wearing, man slash man mandates. mandates. Yeah, I don't know why I put that in there. Yeah, I don't know that there is a mandate, but um, the way that they're handling it at the special meeting is just to ask people to wear masks, yes, but it's not a mandate. We don't have a mandate in the state, yeah. and so they may say, suggest people sort of group themselves, like if you don't want to wear a mask, maybe group over on this side or on that side, um, just so that people that do want to be around mask people are there and whatever. At so the gym? Yeah. I thought with it being a school age mandated. So, uh, the way that the rule is that because it's it's the domain of the select board during the meeting. Mm. So the select board, it's not the domain of the school at that point. So the select board is highly encouraging it. But they're, according to the select board, they don't feel comfortable trying to put a mandate in effect because then you need to have someone who's going to hold people to it and you know you don't want to have a scene at the, the meeting you know and some people really feel strongly about not wearing them so the compromise was to group people is what this is they talked about this at the select board it makes so, sense so that sounds like what's going to happen and hopefully people will just group themselves in a respectful manner and right. move on with it so so that um that, the is issues around mask wearing, I think we're just sort of going to be in the same situation. I think you're right. Um, and I think, again, the select board probably has domain over our meeting in some respect. I can ask if that's the case, but um, I don't, again, we're not going to have people, I can bring some masks and just offer them if people would be right. willing, um, but. I think the folks that are willing to have them. Yeah. You know, what I mean? you don't usually forget your mask. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I do all the time. I'm halfway right. to the chopper and yeah. I'm going to turn around. And put the, but yeah, I think that if people are going to wear them, they're going to have them. So I think that that's the end of that discussion. That we maybe can do whatever, it'll be after the, the special meeting, so we can just kind of see how that goes down. See how that rolls. Yeah. And in this particular situation, it's great because we're all social distance. It's all fine. It's all. But right, when we start talking about adding three, four, eight more people to the room. Yeah, and I just want, I think for both of those meetings, you want everybody to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And, for, you know, with the way it is, some people don't feel comfortable with a mask on. So it's right. just like you know, comfort is, yep. you know, um, so, you know, it's just yep. a hard one for people. Some people don't feel safe with people aren't wearing masks. Other people don't feel comfortable wearing a mask. So it's a tricky one. But I think we don't need to necessarily discuss that. We'll just see how it goes for that special meeting. Okay. I'm going to be at that special meeting too. Yes, I'm definitely going. Uh, I've got to get the day off. But, uh, let me just, before you go to the survey, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. I checked with John. He said the gym is available on the 16th. Um, I got the Zoom meeting information from Dave, uh, Michael Gray, so I can set up the Zoom for our special meeting. 
and send out the password. Um, John's going to post the announcement for the meeting. Oh, yeah, that's a totally untapped resource yeah, that I right? forgot about. Yeah. Good on you. He said, oh, it was John's idea because I called him about the key and he said, well, give it to me and I will oh, get in everyone's, those. you know, send it home and then also post it in the school. So right on. Another way. That's a great untapped. I totally forgot about that. It's yeah. a Friday newsletter. Yep. Do we? That's like 50 families that none of us know. Well, you may, because you're still young enough to have kids-ish. Uh -huh. Yeah, not really. Yeah, yeah I know. you got no. kids now, too. Uh, well, oh. they're, they're all hazing all the time. Um, and then the, one other suggestion was that we can, rec you know, you guys probably already know this, but with Zoom, obviously, you can press record and record the meeting. And right. then if someone wants it later to get information from the meeting that we're, we're not able to attend, then we can supply that to them. So. And did you just say that you dropped your key off back to John? Yeah. For this room? Yes. Excellent. I say question. it hesitatingly because I gave it to Dennis and he said he was going to drop it off. So I hope he did. Really? Okay. Well, I he have promised you would, and I sent him a reminder, and he didn't say he did, and I never heard from the school. So Dennis is pretty, yeah, he's yeah. pretty spot on. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You, you can count on Dennis. I'm yeah. pretty sure that he he was, yeah. he was pretty sure that he was going by the school. Yeah, I, that was a fresh reaction, but no, yeah, you can really count on Dennis. Dennis, yes. we trust you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing that the, this is not related, so maybe I'll just do it after the meeting. Okay. Uh, so that. Wraps up Laura's follow-ups. Then the next one is Ms. Tara on the survey update, but I think survey's done. done. <laughs> it's ready for review. I would have printed it and brought it, but Survey Monkey wants you to pay for a subscription uh, if you want to print it, and I'm not quite willing. So uh, I will tidy it up, take a second look, and uh, email it to everybody. So awesome. So you can like it a little bit. It's really simple. Simple, right? So do you have? Did you sort of? You, you were using those areas for the guidelines for asking if people are interested in spending the money on this or yes. that. Yes, I went by extended to categories. Yeah. You know, I'm wondering if I might want to put a little more detail as to which what categories could mean instead of just leaving it a blanket. Hey, you know, right. Kind of what people are you spending it on that? What What's that mean? You know, a lot of people might not know what that means. So right. I might put in a little additional information. Send it to you the next day or two. Right, and I can see how the informational meeting might be helpful for the survey too, yeah. just to get a little better yeah. understanding of where are we now with the areas, and does it include more areas that would go on the survey? Right. So, maybe we would so I'm kind of torn with that too. You know, the survey could be more expansive if we have more information, which we're gonna get, but we want to have the survey out there at the same time for people to start filling it out. I feel like we can wait until after that informational meeting for the survey because we have time, right? We have time. Yeah. We have time. So, and yes. it'd be better if our survey was Meaning. the best survey it could be, right? Uh, yeah. Based on the most yes. current information. Okay. So, yes. So, so that was Nick's having it at the. And that Nick's is having it at the top. Yep. Yeah. But that's fine because I can still tell people that, like. This is happening. Yep. Keep your eyes open. People are going to ask me. I know they are. They're going to ask us. I mean, what we could do at that meeting is have a posting about our informational meeting that would be coming up that Wednesday, <coughs> Wednesday Absolutely. after. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Yes. And we want to try to create a sign-in sheet and get email from people, email addresses. So that people Good one. Stay in touch that way. Out there. I don't know if any. I mean. I don't think any of the town offices keep email addresses here on people. Could you post it on Front Porch Forum and then people could fill it out that way or no? I don't do Wooper. I have cabots. Right. I can give it to you guys yeah. and I can post it on Wooper. That, that might be a good way to get a lot of response. Uh -huh. Absolutely. I think, yes. All right. Ms. Wright is not here to determine the due date for the funds application and plans for application distribution, so we can check in with her when we do. It's unusual that she didn't call me. Yeah. Uh, mine is the blanket warning for the upcoming ARPA meetings, and I guess what I'm seeking there is just like verbiage. Like, how do I, do I just hear ye, hear ye from here on out? 
I, I can provide you some templates for that. So, I, so, I so think just, I have some from kicking around from back in the day. Right? And just a blanket statement of this is, and of course we'll continue to post the agendas every, but right? Does that, that's kind of what we're looking for. It's just a blanket statement of we, at the bare minimum, are meeting every Wednesday, the first Wednesday of every month at 6 o'clock, community room. Do you mean an announcement for the newspaper? What? Or is this just like a... Yeah, to the website or the... Just an informational blanket warning, I guess. Because is, is, I guess posting the agenda is a warning? Well, be, I would assume worded a lot like the special meeting that they're doing. All right, then I'll read it. I just... Um, okay. Just given the time, date, where, when, what we're discussing, I, I think that would... That's what my template would be most like. Right. And so do I have to even, or can it just be assumed that when I post the agendas in time, then that's the warning. I think the, 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 the next minutes that get posted, Reddit can just write at the bottom again that our regular meetings are at such and such time. Right. right. Um, and there are different rules around right. the regular meetings as and opposed the, to special meetings. Right. Like, the ones that would punch in. So that's what I mean. Like, if we warn the regular meetings, do I have to do that every month? Or can I just be warned once that the ARPA committee is meeting on the first Wednesday of every month, and then the little ones that we get in between have to be warned at least 24 hours? Yes? I think you have to warn it before the meeting. You, Each time. you have so we're going to put the agenda out anyway. Right. So that would be the warning. Okay. I don't think you need to do anything. Beautiful. Yeah. That is my favorite answer. Did you, did, did, did you, did that follow for you? Uh, no, not completely. I guess <laughs> so, she was wondering whether she needed, like, if she could just post once that we meet every, the first Wednesday of every month, then just, did, are there other warnings that need to occur? Or is that enough to, to, to let everybody know that that's happening? Yeah, that should be it. I mean, you if you don't need to every, 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 you know, I would think that if we know that we're having a meeting next week on the, the special meeting on yeah. such and such day, and then we're meeting again uh, March, whatever that date is. Oh, yes. uh, I, well, my, yeah. I think it was the second. We're the world of stupid phones. But you're doing a new agenda for each oh. meeting, right? I just got an email from Retta. Oh, I got distracted with something and so totally forgot this meeting. I am so sorry. But you're creating a new agenda for each meeting, right? Right. So you're going to be warning each one anyway. Anyway. So I don't need the big blankety one because I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. The yeah. next meeting would be March 2nd. I mean, regular meeting. Next regular meeting. And then meeting. we have a special meeting we're doing on the 9th. So for special meetings, you only have to do them 24 hours in advance. For our regular meetings, it needs to be 48, 48 hours in advance. Okay. And so far, I've got that good in my head. I'm like, okay, Sunday night. Got to get my sh out Sunday night. Like, there's a plenty of time for Wednesday's meeting. So you don't need me to remind you on Friday and Saturday. And <laughs> <laughs> Heather's like, you're back down, sister. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no. at work right now. No I'm like, I'll come by your work. Yeah, we'll work it all out. special meeting, too, if you have a, right. you know, a habit. Right. I'll just do it all right. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So I just wanted to, I guess, confirm that I'm rolling on the right track. All right, so that's me. So then, the, oh, and permanent location is here. I did talk to John Cordette, and I spoke to him yesterday and confirmed that I'm keeping the key for this room and that we have this room on the first Wednesday of every month. What is this room? The community room. Okay. They technically call it the community room attached to the library. How many birthday parties have we done here? <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so that's all in cement. That's it. That's good. Everybody knows. I'll still keep the warning stuff out. All right, so then the next one for 7 o'clock says ARPA guidelines, discussion, and update. And unfortunately, I don't have any of my purple envelope. I know what you see is what I got, and I don't have anything. So just back to what Katie said, which I've already said, but I'm going to say it again. She based, she said basically that the provisions of government services, the town can basically decide to spend the money 
on anything town related roads bridges culverts cyber security public meeting space rehab to a town office it does not need to be covid related anymore um, so now it's even more important well this is my own little note to myself it's more, even more important to know from the town what people want how they want to spend it and frankly never mind those so along those uh, lines i think it actually does is applicable to this conversation um, the select board, perhaps at the next select board meeting or maybe the following one, um, would they like us to attend because they're inviting CD Fiber to come and talk about broadband. Um, and I know you have feelings about broadband, but I think when he described it to me, it was very different from what the perceptions of this group were. Okay. So I, and I can't pretend to tell you what they are. Yep. So um, I think it's worth us going. They were not out of the valley. I mean, that was one thing. That the other one, one kept day. saying they yep. was out of Waitsfield. The guy, the gentleman's out of Northfield. Um, and it, from what my understanding is, it, it it acts similar to other utilities where or or not necessarily maybe more like cable that you sign up, town isn't signing up to fix it. You sign up. So you say, I'm on the last mile and I'm not getting service. I would like service to my house. You sign up with the person, with that company, and the repairs, then they decide with the contract whether, you know, has, some things are like, if it's from here to the edge of your property, it's yours, and if it's beyond that, it's theirs to fix. But it's not the town's to fix. So it's not, so it's, you know, it, it, there's people in town, I mean, I, I, I would posit that there's people in town that want to be wired up. And I'm not sure it's our place to say that they shouldn't be. Right. So I'd like to hear. I, I, don't, sure. I, I, I don't know if this is where we want to it just put seems, the money, but I think it's worth us getting more educated on it. Listening to, for sure. But it just seems weird to me in the world that's trying to go wireless and higher connectivity and all, why are we signing on to build more wires? in the world of satellites and zoop zoop. And so they we'll listen. Listen. I will yeah, so we go to that and you can pose that question yes. because yep. you have more questions yep. than I could even fathom to yep. have. What's the company? CV Fiber. CV? I believe it's CV, yes. Champlain Valley Fiber, CV? I don't know if they're Just doesn't make sense to me, but I'm just all hayseed from Woodbury. What's the deal? So it's either going to be the next select board meeting or one after that. So I will let you know when I know. I just wanted to give you the heads up that it's communications union district municipal organization. Central Vermont. CV. CV Central we could have probably figured that out. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I think what I, I, I feel like what happens is that people in town get little bits of information and put together their own story sure. and that we need to know what the story is because the facts to the story were not correct to start right. out with. So we need to we need to get ourselves educated and it's our responsibility to do, to that. do that. Absolutely, absolutely. It just seems like, oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Well, I definitely want to know when that is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to have something to say. Yeah, so, so they, and they meet what the the second I'm supposed to be going anyway, so yes. Sweet. All right. Uh, anything else for our fun guidelines? And um, no, just that we should try to see if we can come up with some questions for Katie and Grace. But if we don't, even if we don't come up with questions, they're going to come up with a really nice presentation. And a good all informational well, for all of us. Yes. Questions may get fomented in our heads. And I'm psyched us. for the 12th to be able to get months for the 16th that kind of worked out really well I think uh, 730 says we're supposed to look at that Ooh. establish next meetings agenda is that something we want to do now or is that something we want to communicate via email um, next meetings agenda I think it's going to be a lot about the informational meeting and odds and ends that we might need to put together for that informational meeting. So it seems like the basic agenda, if I don't hear from anybody before the ninth meeting, February 9th, 22, then as an agenda, I will just basically put uh, our, uh, uh, 
Mm, guideline discussion and update and ap application revision. Survey yeah, did approval. Approve. Somehow we have to approve the minutes. I don't know how we're going to do that because if they were supposed to be out already, and we're just going to approve the minutes. So minute approval of Thanks to that meeting and this meeting. Um, I just wanted to say um, at the end of these minutes, I'm probably going to put on there that we're looking for questions. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. To present to these people, mm -hmm. and you know, to send it to that ARPA Gmail and then we're account, so that, you know, maybe they'll shift in a few before we even get to. It. That'd be good. So and that's why we need access to that account. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. You don't hurt my feelings. You totally do. Um, no, I, I'm not. But yeah, I was laughing at you by any stretch. Oh no, 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 no. Randy gave us the access code, so we all we have to do is sit down and do it. Like, I just don't know how to get into it. So we yeah, can do that. I, we can let Leaf go. We can figure that out together with this before. That's cool with me because I don't know. Uh, so that's it for the agenda thing. I can I can work that out. Yeah, we can send send things as we think of them. If that's okay with you, Heather. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it worked out. It's fine. God, this thing is killing my bat ears. Um. Cool. Do we adjourn? Um, yeah, let me just like quickly yep. go through my notes and make sure I didn't have anything else. And then we'll adjourn, but we'll go through and see if we can figure out how to get in. So that means Retta doesn't really need to do anything in the department of uh, technology. That's sad, yeah. So one of us should take on the, someone should be sort of the MC introducing our experts, that kind of thing. We, maybe these are things that we can talk about next time. Sure. For our informational <laughs> meeting. That was so <laughs> Point <laughs> Yeah. And then one person needs to be manning the Zoom. I might be able to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that, but I can either MC or whatever too. I, yeah, I, I don't think there's much to it. Just introducing who these people are and what, what, our, what, our, what ARPA is. Like a right. little That's thing on our yeah. what it is and what we're trying to accomplish, and why you should be paying attention. In our opinion, would be script. Okay. Well, I so move we adjourn. Sweet. Meeting adjourned.